Welcome to The Right Conversation. Edie Melson here, and today I'm really excited to share how to add personalized social media buttons to your blog or blog. Now, today we will be focusing on how to add these to a blogger site. You can also add these to a WordPress site. However, the technique is slightly different, and I will be sharing that in a separate screencast. That screencast will air on Friday on www.theauthorroadmap.com. So back to adding them on Blogger. The first thing you have to do is you have to find these individual images and download them. You can find them for free, you can find them for for a fee, um, you can pay almost anything for them. You can even have them designed for your site specifically. These are actually free ones and I'm just dying to tell you where I got them because I think they did such a great job on them. These are from the AvalonRose.com. Now when you download free ones, you have to pay attention to what the designer requires. Some of them offer these images for free with no attribution required, meaning you don't have to share who designed them, and some of them require that you give them credit on your site. Each one is different, so pay attention when you're downloading them. Now where do you find them? The best way to find them is to do a search on Google or whatever search engine you prefer. And all you have to do is type in free social media icons, or if you don't mind paying a fee, you can just type in social media icons. Then you scroll down, you find the site you want to use, you click on that site, you read all the directions and all the requirements and make sure that you're ready for that and then you scroll through and you choose the set you want and you click download. Now you want to make sure that when you download these they are either in a PNG file or a JPEG file and what will download is a folder that will contain individual JPEG or PNG files for every social media icon and that's what you need. Now to show you the process of adding those to your blog, I have actually start, started a new site called Edie's Example Blog. Don't go looking for it. It's not published anywhere. But I did it so that I can show you behind the scenes different techniques without constantly being fiddling with my regular site. So what you want to do first, after you've downloaded the social media icons that you've chosen and save them to your desktop is you want to click on new post. This is your compose window and this is where we start the process. The first thing you want to do is title this post. Do not delete or publish. And the reason for that is because you want to make sure that your social media icons don't disappear. This is going to be where we're hosting the images and so if we, dis if we delete this then the host of the images will go away and that means the images that you are copying and putting in your sidebar will also disappear. So you want to make sure that you do not publish it and you do not delete it. You're just going to save it in draft form. Now this is my regular compose window and if I were to start typing here I would get just regular words like I was going to put a post up. Now this isn't where you want to upload your images though. What you want to do is you want to upload those through your HTML window. And the reason for this is because you'll have spacing issues that were very frustrating if you try to do it in your compose window. So if you go, you want to click on your HTML. If you find that there are already some code in here, go ahead and delete that so that you have a nice clean window to begin uploading your social media images. All right, you're going to click on image upload, choose files, and I'm going to choose email, Facebook, and then I'm going to choose Twitter. Those three should give you plenty of examples so that you should be able to um, do this process easily on your own site. Okay, you want to make sure that all three images are highlighted. 
and you want to click Add Selected. Now this Choose Layout will come out up. You want to make sure that you choose None and the image size is small because you don't want your social media images to be huge because they'll take up too much room in your sidebar. Alright, click OK and there we have it. There are our social media images. Now, like I said, we're not going to do any coding ourselves, but we will have to come back here and copy this when we get ready to load it into our sidebar. But for now, we can leave this HTML window and go back to Compose. And you'll notice, there they are. There are my social media images. All right, the first thing you want to do is you want to hyperlink each image to the place that you want it to go when it's in your sidebar if a visitor comes and clicks on it. I'm going to start with the Facebook image. Now Blogger is a little weird this way. I'm going to click the image, I'm going to click link, and then I have to click the image again and I have to click link a second time before the edit link window pops up. Alright, I'm going to go over here to my Facebook site. I'm going to copy the URL right there, come back over here, and I'm going to paste that right here. Now you'll notice I want to make sure that I have this open this link in a new window box checked because when someone clicks on my social media button I want them to be able to go to Facebook but I don't want them to lose their place on my blog. So make sure that open this link in a new window is always checked. I'm going to click OK. Alright now I'm going to click on Twitter and link, click on the image again, click on link again, and then I'm going to go to my Twitter site and I'm going to copy that URL, come back over here and paste it right here. Again, making sure that it says open this link in a new window. I'm going to click OK. Alright, and you can also add an email icon. This is like a contact form so that you don't have to add a bulky contact form. People can just email you by clicking on this image. So I'm going to click on the image, and hit link, click on the image again, and I'm going to hit link. And instead of going to a web address, I'm going to click email address. And I'm going to send it to Edie at edmelson.com and again make sure uh, open this link on in a new window and I'm going to click OK. Alright now I have all of these here they're uploaded correctly now I'm almost ready to finish up I'm going to go back to the HTML window and I'm going to copy this whole bit of code right here and I have a second Edie's example blog open I'm going to open up a second Edie's example blog right here I'm going to go to blogger and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to the layout pane because I want to add a gadget so I'm going to scroll down I want it in my sidebar so that's where I'm going to add that gadget I'm going to click on that, and the gadget I want is the HTML JavaScript gadget. I'm going to click the plus button, and then I'm going to paste all of that code in there. I'm going to title it. You can title it anything you want. Uh, find me on social media. Join me on social media. Let's connect on social media. Or just let's connect. That's what I'm going to do right there. All right, and I'm going to save it. Then you want to make sure that you save arrangement here. Okay. And then I'm going to view my blog. And you'll notice there are my icons right there. If you click on them, if I click on this Facebook, it takes you directly to my Facebook account. Same thing with Twitter, it takes you directly to my Twitter account. And email takes you directly to. Uh, my email account. So that is really all there is to adding social media buttons to your blogger blog. Now I would love for you to post any comments or questions that you have in the comments section below and be sure and share this blog on social media and also let me know if you have something else that you would like to see a screencast on. 
And remember, if you have a WordPress site, I'm going to be sharing instructions on how to upload and install personalized social media buttons for your WordPress site on Friday, this Friday. And that will be at www.theauthorroadmap.com. See you soon. Thanks. Bye.